This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. Now let's configure the anti-malware settings that configure how our endpoint protection client behaves and when it scans and how it scans. So let's scroll down. I'm in Asset and Compliance. We're going to expand out Endpoint Protection. Click on Anti-Malware Policies. So there's a default client anti-malware policy. We can create a new one if we'd like, similar to Client Settings. I'm going to right-click on our default one, go to Properties. So the first section here is Scheduled Scans. We can run a scheduled scan on client computers. Normally we want that to Yes. The scan type can be a quick scan or a full scan. It can be daily. We can run it on a certain day of the week. We can specify the scan time. Normally we want it during off hours. And if we're running maybe a full scan, you know, every Tuesday at 2 a.m., we may want to run a daily quick scan as well. So that's another option. We can specify the time for it. We can specify whether we want to check for the latest definition updates for running the scan. Start the scheduled scan only when the computer is idle. And limit CPU usage during scans. 50% is pretty high. We may want to drop that down to something like 20%. Let's go over to scan settings. Do we want to scan email and email attachments? This is probably something we want to do. Do we want to scan removable storage devices? Probably. Uh, scan network files? Probably not. But that is an option. We can scan mapped network drives. Uh, probably not. Scan archive files and allow users to configure CPU usage during scans. User control of scheduled scans. So you can specify, maybe the user wants to specify the scan time or give them full control. So here we can specify how endpoint protection responds to threats. It's a severe threat. What is it going to do? Remove, quarantine, or recommend. High, same options, medium, low. You can see the default is quarantine for almost everything except low, which it allows. Real-time protection is probably something we want. It's enabled by default. We can monitor file and program activity on our computer, scan system files, scan all downloaded files, and enable exploit protection on Internet Explorer, probably something we want. And there are a lot of other settings. We can exclude files and folders. Maybe we have a folder that just has a lot of files in it and there's no need to keep rescanning it we can exclude those here you can see we can create a system restore point before a compu computers are clean if there is a threat so we can always go back to a certain point in time now let's go over to definition updates so it's going to check for definitions at a specific interval every eight hours you can see when it starts and we can set the source where it's going to look. So normally it's going to get updates distributed from Configuration Manager, but if for some reason it can't, they can also look for at WSUS, Microsoft Update, and Microsoft Malware Protection Center. And down here it says if Configuration Manager is used as a source for definition updates, which it is in our case, clients will only update from alternative sources if the definition is older than 72 hours. So basically, if it can't get the updates from Configuration Manager, then wait 72 hours and then you can go out and look at maybe Microsoft or any of the other sources we have set. 